Hi students, what today we are going to discuss what is cluster analysis. So cluster you may already studied in your previous machine learning topic. Now I'm again I'm re repeating cluster analysis for data mining. So the process of grouping a set of physical or abstract object into classes of similar object is called as clustering. So cluster means it's a group of similar objects. Okay, a cluster is a collection of data objects that are similar to one another within the same cluster and that are dissimilar in the other cluster. So one that is similar will be put inside one cluster. Another one that is dissimilar towards um, another which is dissimilar it will be put inside the another cluster. Cluster of an object can be treated collectively as a group in many applications. Cluster analysis has widely used in numerous applications including pattern recognition, data analysis, image processing and market research. Now let us discuss what are the typical requirements of clustering in data mining. First one is scalability. So the mini clustering algorithm works well in small data set containing less than 200 data items or 200 data object. Clustering on a sample of given large set may lead to biased result. So highly scalable clustering algorithm is needed in case of data mining. Next one is the ability to deal with different types of attribute. So many algorithms are designed to cluster interval based that is numeric data type. So need applications to cluster other type of data such as binary, categorical that is also called as nominal data and ordinal data and mixture of these data types. So the next requirement is discovery of cluster with arbitrary shape. So many clustering algorithm determines a cluster based upon the Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance. So algorithm based on distance measure tends to spherical clusters with similar size and density. A cluster could be of any shape. So we have to develop an algorithm to detect the cluster of arbitrary shape also. Next requirement is minimal requirement for domain knowledge to determine the input parameters. Many cluster algorithm requires a user to input certain parameters in cluster analysis such number of desired clusters. Okay, So the clustering results are often quite sensitive to input the parameters. So the next one is the ability to deal with the noisy data. So most of real world database contains outliers or missing unknown and errors data. Some clustering algorithms are sensitive to such data and may lead to cluster of pure quality. So next requirement is insensitivity to the order of input records. Some clustering algorithms are sensitive to the order of input data. The same set of data presented with different ordering to an algorithm may generate dramatically different clusters. So develop an algorithm which are insensitive to the order of an input. So the seventh requirement is high dimensionality. A database or data warehouse may contain several dimensions of our attributes. Many clustering algorithms are good at handling low dimension data involving two or three dimensions. So next requirement is constraint based clustering that is real world application may need to perform clustering under various kind of constraints. A challenging task is to find a group of data with good clustering behavior that satisfies, that satisfies a specified constraint. Next one.